thumbs up in the video. All right, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Kaylin. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start with um, our jumping jacks and some uh, basic warm up stuff. So you get your towel, put it to the side for now. And we're going to start with our jumping jacks. So feet are together, arms to our sides. When we jump, our feet go wide and our arms go up. We come back down. That's one. Here we go. 30 seconds and 30, 29, 28, 27. All the way up with the hands. 26, 25. Touch those hands. Clap. 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Cool. My downstairs neighbors love me. Cool. All right. So the next thing we're going to do are some bicycles. So everybody go ahead and lie down. Lie down on your back. And we're going to pretend that we're riding our bicycle. Okay. So we're going to go 30 seconds riding forwards. Okay. So I'm moving here and we're going to start right now. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. We're bicycling forward. 32, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, no, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop the legs. Cool. We're going to go backwards 30 seconds. Ready? Legs up. And we're going to go backwards. We're backing our bicycle up. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop the legs. Catch your breath here for a second. Cool. All right, grab your knees. Roll on up. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to need our towel here. So you're going to lay your towel down on the ground. Okay, so we're going to start on, on behind our towel. We're going to do our QM, and we're going to QM around our towel, okay? But the way we're going to do this is we're going to stay forward, facing forward the entire time. Okay, you can pick which side you want to start with, uh, but we're going to do 10 laps around our towel. So we're going to go forward, and we're going to go backwards. Forwards and backwards, okay? So here we go. Start crawling on one side of the towel. Make your way over the front and go around the other way, okay? Moving around the towel. This is one for me. Good. It's two. Three. Good, remember opposite hand and foot. Four. Five. Halfway there. Six. I can tell this is already gonna be our class. Seven. Is it six? Oh, six. This is seven. Three more. Good. 
eight. Nine. Last one. Keep it up. Keep it up. Almost there. Just starting to warm up here. And ten. Make it back to your starting position. Woo! Good job, you guys. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do are our frog jumps. And what we're gonna do is I want you to roll up your towel. You're gonna stand in the middle of it. You're gonna roll your towel up just a little bit on both sides. So what we're jumping on is narrow, okay? So we're right between the rolled up sides. We'll give you a second to take care of that. But we basically just want a narrow little slot on our towel that we're gonna do our frog jumps. And the goal is to land right where you started from, okay? <sighs> All right, so once again, heels are high from the beginning, okay? So you're on your toes, okay? Knees are wide. Fingertips are right down here on the ground, okay? And today we're gonna focus on our breathing as we do our, our frog jump. So before we jump, we want to breathe all the air out of our lungs. So breathe out. And as we lift up, we're going to inhale. And then exhale all the way down. Okay? We're only going to do this 10 times. Okay? And we're going to go slow. We're going to make sure that we're breathing with our movement. Okay? So we're going to do this slowly, one count at a time. Breathe all the air out. Breathe in and jump. Exhale on the way down. Good. Okay. We're going to take an extra breath in between. Breathe in and out. Now we jump. Inhale and down. Good. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, jump. Exhale, land. Good. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, jump. And land with the exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. That's four. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, jump. Exhale. Good job. All right. Go ahead and stand up for a second. Shake your legs out a little bit. Okay. We're going to do the last five in a row. Okay. So take a couple of deep breaths here. One more. And exhale as we squat down, heels come up. We're gonna do five in a row, okay? So air out, inhale, jump. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Three more, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one, inhale up, and exhale down. Sweet, good job guys. All right, shake your legs out, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, we're gonna do our sideways monkey. And once again, let's open up our towel. Okay, so the way this is gonna start is you're gonna start facing away from your towel with your heels close to the line. Let me point this down a little bit so you can see. Okay, so your heels are on one edge of the towel. We're gonna squat down. Now, we're gonna reach over. We're gonna put our hands on the towel facing away from us. So our toes are pointing this way, hands are pointing this way. Okay, we're gonna do a sideways monkey cartwheel. So we're gonna put our hands down, lift our body up, and then face opposite way again, okay? So remember, you're gonna start, twist to a 180, you're facing away, and then when you land, you do an additional 180, okay? Half a turn. All right, so we're gonna do this 
Uh, let's do 10 times, five, on each, five in each direction. We've already done one, but that was practice, doesn't count. Okay, so hands reach behind us, still on the ground, up, and then finish with a twist. Good, all right. Yeah, that's one. Two. Good. Three. And what we want to do is keep our heels close to our hips. We're still doing a sideways monkey, but we're doing a little bit of an extra cartwheel twist. Good. So your fingers point away from you, and your feet always land pointing forward. Good. I think we got two more here. Good. Nice, last one here. And boom, sideways monkey. All right. Okay, so we can move our towel out of the way for now. The next thing we're gonna do is something we did sort of uh, the last time, which is our crow, but we're going to work on this. Uh, we're going to basically do a little bit of a, uh, an opposite of a crow. So before we had, for the crow, we have our knees on the outside. This time, we're going to have our arms on the outside. So basically a Kong crow, okay? So we're going to push our knees to the elbows, and just for a second, we're going to lean forward Pick our feet up off the ground and put them back down. So everybody give that a shot right now. Hands are down, knees into the elbows, feet off the ground. Okay, let me see it. Good. Good job. Okay, so this is basically how we're gonna do our Kong today. So knees pushing on the outside of our on the inside of our elbows. We're gonna lean forward, pick the feet up, balance for a second, and then shoot them back. Walk your hands back, okay? And now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna crawl our hands forward. And we're gonna try to pull our knees into our chest for just a second before we drop our feet on the ground, okay? So, knees against the elbows. We're gonna do this five times. Here we go, knees against the elbows. Lean forward on the hands, lift the toes, kick it back, knees low as we walk our hands back. Okay, walk your hands back forward, knees up to the chest, and drop your toes down. You just want to have a brief, brief moment where your feet are not quite on the ground and you're using your muscles to keep yourself up. Okay, we got three more right here. Hands are flat, fingers are spread, knees into the elbows. Lean forward onto the fingers, feet up, legs back, knees low, walk the hands. Okay. We're almost done. Once we're done with this, we get some water. Hands back in front, knees to the chest. Brief moment before your feet drop. Good job. Okay. Once again, palms flat. Lean forward. Feet off the ground. Legs back. Knees low. Walk your hands down low. Okay. Walk your hands back on out. Okay. Knees to the chest. Second before you drop. Okay, palms flat, lean forward, legs up, feet back, walk it back. Okay. So now we're gonna try something different. So I want you to know that this is the difference. This is a crow, okay, knees on the outside, and this is a Kong, knees on the inside, okay? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to do a Kong forward into a crow. So, we're gonna have our hands back just a little bit, okay? And we're gonna need to lean into this just a little bit. So sit back, lean forward, and then pop your knees right to the outside of your arm. And try to hold for just a second, okay? So we're in this sort of reaching Kong here. Our knees are gonna stay wide. We're gonna catch them on our arms, and then drop our feet. Okay, walk your feet back just a little bit. You wanna be sitting on your heels, Okay, we'll try this one more time. Lean forward, shift the weight forward, catch the knees on your elbows, and then drop. We'll do one more of those. Feet back just a little bit. So we're in this loaded position, okay? 
Ready? Legs are forward. Rest on the elbows. And drop. All right. That's our warm up. Everybody get some water. Mm. Elixir of the gods. All right. The next thing we're going to do is our handstands. So make sure you're ready. Tuck in your shirts. Fix the camera here. All right. So we're going to do two rounds today. We're going to do two songs. They're the same tune, but a different song. So the first song we're going to do is ABCs, and then we'll do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, same, same tune, different song. So backs against the wall, shirts tucked in, and slide our back down. Hands are flat, fingers are spread. And we're gonna walk our feet up the wall. We're gonna come down in between each song. So go ahead and walk your feet up the wall and sing it with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Walk your feet down nice and safely. Squat. Sit here for a second. You're going to shake your wrists out a little bit. We're going to go up one more time. Okay, shake, 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 shake. Okay, and we're gonna sing uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I hope everybody knows that one, okay? So, fingers spread out nice and wide, and we're gonna speed up the tune a little bit. We're not gonna hang out as long. So, on your feet, you can stand up again. If you wanna reset yourself against the wall, slide on down, palms flat, fingers are spread, okay? We can put our feet up behind us on a chair, on a couch, on our bed, whatever you'd like. Here we go. We're going to walk our feet up. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Up above the world so bright, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. All right, walk your feet on down. Good job. Nicely done. All right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need our towel again. Okay, so go ahead and lay your towel back out. And we're gonna practice failing today. Not a lot of people know how to fail gracefully and the the point of failing is to figure out how we can improve. And in parkour, there's a lot of things that we learn during a fail that's going to give us information on how to succeed. Okay? If you just do everything perfectly all the time, you're not going to learn a whole bunch. So it's important to mess up and to fail as you're learning because then you can figure out how to improve or what things don't work. Okay? So first thing we're going to do, laying out our towel. Okay? And we want to jump a little farther than we think we can comfortably precision. Because what we're going to do is we're going to land and we're going to do our backwards roll. Okay? So we're going to start just a little bit of precision work just to get used to that motion. And we're going to practice a couple of backwards rolls on the ground and then we're going to combine them together to make a successful bail out of a precision. Okay? And a bail basically means you've decided that in the moment that you want to not quite do what you planned, but you want to take a, a safe exit and, and reevaluate the situation. Okay? So first thing, our legs are together. Okay? Feet are together. We're going to pretend that we have one, one leg below us. Okay? As we prepare for our, our, our plyometric jump, our, our broad jump, our arms are going to go backward, our heels come off the ground. Okay, so we're in this loaded position. Our arms are ready to swing forward as we jump. Okay, so we're just gonna extend our legs as we swing our arms forward. We're gonna land in a nice precision. Okay, so notice that I didn't go all the way to the end of my towel. 
Okay, we're going to do two more of these to warm them up. Okay, so from standing right here, arms are to the side. We're nice and tall. We're going to bend our legs. Arms go back, load up, swing forward, and then land, and our arms go back behind us again. Your arms are like your counterbalance. So if you're leaning too far forward, your arms can come back. If you start to lean back, your arms can come forward. So these arms are going to be your stabilizer. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, squat down, arms back, heels up, knees bent, swing it forward, and land. You're probably noticing that you're moving a little bit farther on your towel. That's great. Your body's getting warmed up. Okay, so now let's start the other side of our towel. We're going to practice our backwards roll. Okay, so number one thing when we do our backwards roll is we do not want to put our hands back here. This is a big no-no. No hands. Okay, our arms should be in front. Our elbows should actually be tucked into our midsection a little bit to protect our elbows. It's bone with a little bit of skin covering it. We don't want to bang those, okay? So our elbows are going to be kind of close to each other. You can make a V with your hands, your, your forearms. We're going to sit down, tuck our tailbone, and as we do this, our chin is tucked to our chest. We want to have a nice round back. So from right here, we're just going to roll back. And forward a couple times. Make sure you learn how to shape your back so it's nice and round. Okay? Good job. Okay. So now, as we roll back, we're going to bring both of our legs over one shoulder. Okay? If both of your legs go over each shoulder, you're going to get stuck. Can't go anywhere. Okay? So it's really important to bring both the knees onto one side. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do a backwards roll. You can pick which shoulder you want. I'm gonna pick my right shoulder. So our elbows are close. As our back lands flat, we can extend our arms on the ground to help us push those legs up and over. And we're gonna land on our feet, okay? So I want you to keep in mind which shoulder you just rolled over. We're gonna roll over the next one, the other shoulder, okay? So starting from here, we're going to precision forward, arms fly forward as we land, and here we're going to sit down, arms don't touch yet until our arms, uh, until our back is flat, and now our legs are going to go over the other shoulder, okay? So that is the foundation of what we're doing here. So to tie it all together, just watch me here, we're going to precision forward, we're going to try to go farther than we feel comfortable um, because we want to start falling backwards and start practicing that roll. Okay. And um, a couple of things you'll notice as you start this is you want to tuck your hips. Imagine that your hips are straight like this. If you push your butt out, your hips are pointing back. Okay. And if you push your hips forward and you kind of tuck your tailbone under, okay. That's going to make the lower back nice and round. Okay, so I'll show you what this is going to look like. So precision forward. We're going to lay it a little bit forward, and then we're going to roll back. And if you're on a rug, the rug might move a little bit. But don't jump so far. Try to land straight down. Okay, so we're going to do five of these on either side of the shoulder. Okay, so a 10 total. So here we go. Squat down, jump forward, precision, and then land, tuck and roll to the starting position. Okay, do that again. Forward, land, knees to the other side, roll back. Okay, so every time you roll back, you think to yourself, all right, I can get this again. Just need a little bit more power, but we're gonna be landing in the same spot practicing the bail technique. Okay, so here we go, let's go again. Land, squat. Roll back. Good. Jump. Precision. Roll back. Good. Jump forward. And if you can jump all the way past the top of your rug sliding underneath you, I want you to go for it. Good. Roll back. Okay. We've got about two more. Good. Nicely done. 
Okay, and we got one more. Here we go. Arms back, jump forward, and roll. Good job. All right, it's time for a water break. Kind of an easy, easy first half. All right, cool. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move the towel out of the way. All right, so part of our trick today involves a, a big bridge, okay? And we tried this a little bit the other day. We're gonna do it again to help warm up the body. Also, a lot of the things we're doing while we're at home is we're sitting on the couch, we're sitting in a chair. Um, our posture isn't very good. Our back muscles to hold us up straight are starting to lose some strength. So what we're going to be doing is really focusing on those spine muscles and the neck muscles to make sure that we're really strong and we don't become this kind of hunched over computer video game creature. Okay? So first thing we're going to do Get up in a nice all four, big four, four pointed rectangle here. We're going to lift up one arm, bring your leg through. We did this before. Hips to the ceiling, reach the hand all the way back. Okay? Drop that hand, foot back. Other hip foot goes in front. And the most important thing here is we're flipping all the way over to the ceiling. Okay? So we're going to do 10 of these. Five on each side, starting right now. Here we go. One, good. Two, good. Three, four. Make sure you really point your hips to the ceiling. Five, bottoms of the feet are flat on the ground. Good. Chest. Shoulders opened up to the ceiling. Good. This is fun. Good. We're halfway done. Six. Seven. Try to arch your back. Lift your belly button to the sky. Eight. Nine. Good. Last one here. And ten. Good job. All right. Drop your knees. Catch your breath. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to strengthen our arms, okay? So we're going to be doing some push-ups. We're going to do our first one standard. Standard means index finger, my pointer finger, pointing forward, thumb, pointing each other, and the hands are all the way out wide. Our elbows are going to slide right against our elbows, okay? We're going to do 10 of these, 10 regular push-ups. You can do them on your knees, you can do them on your toes, okay? But I want your fingers all the way spread, your thumbs pointed, and your elbows close. Okay, you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up. 10 push-ups, here we go. Hands are down, body is straight. Here we go, and down. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, Eight, down, nine, down, ten. Nice. Good job. Not so bad. You're getting a lot better at your push ups. I see you. All right. Now we're going to do eight hands wide. Okay. Not totally wide. About right here. Okay. So if your arms are, if you make a, uh, like a, a field goal with your hands, okay, bring them right forward. Okay, thumbs are still pointing towards each other. We're gonna do eight of these. If you're ready, you're doing them with me. Here we go. Body straight and down. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven. Last one, and eight. Good job. All right, give your arms a little bit of a break for a second. We're gonna be doing diamond ones, diamond push-ups next. And these ones are easy for your hands. Your index fingers just touch each other, and your thumbs touch each other. 
Okay. Good job. Nice. You can have your fingers nice and spread if you want to, or you can make your fingers close together. This is a bit more challenging for your balance. This is a little bit easier because you have a wider base. Okay. But we're going to give our, our arms another 15 seconds to replenish the oxygen. So breathe nice and deeply as we wait. Good. Got 10 more seconds. Breathe in. Good. Okay. Five, four, get your hands ready. Three, two, and six of these. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Here we go. And six. Good job. Nicely done. All right. The next thing we're going to do is work on our core. So if you want some more water, grab some water. Okay, so if you've made it this far, you've done a great job. If you're a level one and you want to do a little bit more, we're just going to be doing some sit-ups and other things. So it's not going to be too crazy, but you get extra points for sticking around. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do some core. So we're gonna sit down on our booty, okay? And we're gonna be doing some side taps. And a side tap, make our prayer hands. We tap one side, and then the other side. One side, and then the other side. But our feet are gonna be off the ground, okay? If you wanna do this, if you wanna make this really hard, straighten your legs okay if you can't keep them straight the whole time bend them halfway through straighten them back out okay here we go we're gonna do 20 seconds of side tap so drop your feet to the ground get comfortable okay knees are together prayer hands here we go 20 seconds lift up the legs and 20 19 18 17 16 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lay down flat. Good job. Stretch your abs out a little bit. Get your arms totally up over your head. Good job. Breathe in here for a little bit. Nice deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Through the nose, out through the mouth. And don't slow your breathing down too much. Keep your breathing fast and deep. But focus on breathing in this moment. Good. All right, knees to the chest, roll back up. The next thing we're gonna do are mountain climbers. So you, this time you're gonna get your feet behind you, okay? We're doing like a push-up position, but we're going to be bringing our knees up to our elbows one at a time. All right? So, catch your breath here for a second. And we are going to do 20 seconds of mountain climbers. All right, here we go. Arms are out. Okay? And we're going to start with one knee. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, nice job. Drop your knees. We're going to step back again. Okay. We're going to do regular crunches all right these ones are kind of easy we're going to lay back all the way flat our knees are going to be up over our hips okay and what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands behind our ears and we're just going to lift our chest up off the ground and i want you to keep your chin away from your chest okay so our head is going to be long out of the shoulders okay arms are wide we're going to do 20 seconds crunches here we go and 20, easy, 19, 18, 
17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. Lay your body flat. Stretch them out. Arms reach behind you. Toes, point them in front. Good. Just lay here for a second. Let the abs stretch out a little bit. We're going to do something again, very similar. Good. A little breath here. Okay. This next one, these are called butterfly crunches. So we're going to bring our feet close to each other like we're doing a butterfly sit. Okay. So feet, bottoms of the feet are together. And now what we're going to do, we're going to lean back just a little bit. We're not going to let our upper back touch the ground. We're just going to touch the lower back. Okay, so our shoulders are off the ground. And we're going to do 30 seconds. We're just going to reach our hands through our knees. Okay, so we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Okay, a little bit of movement, just a little bit. Okay, here we go. And 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, feel the burn, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Good job. Lay down flat. Arms over your head. Stretch it out. Good. Maybe rock your hips from side to side. Drop. Move your feet like, like uh, windshield wipers. It'll help rotate your ankles a little bit. And your whole leg. Good job. Okay. Knees. Okay. We're gonna be. We're gonna stay here for a second. The last thing we're gonna do is our candlestick crunches. Okay. And we're just going to do 10 of them. Okay, so arms can be out wide to the side, and they can help you get your feet all the way to the sky. Okay, take a couple more deep breaths right here. We're going to be doing 10 candlestick crunches. So the most important thing about a candlestick crunch is getting our whole lower back and middle back up off the ground. Okay, so I'll show you one example before we start. So everybody take a look. So our knees come up to the chest and our feet are going to shoot to the sky. We bring them back down and out. Okay. And when your legs are up, I want you to point your toes. I want you to pretend that there's a straight line from your knee to your toe going right to the sky, right to the sky. Okay. All right. So legs all the way out. Palms are flat at your sides. Here we go. We got 10 starting in three, two, one, knees to the chest, toes to the sky. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. All right, lay here for one more second. Let your belly stretch out. Pretty intense. Doing a lot of focus on our belly today. Once you're ready, pull your knees to your chest. Roll all the way up. And it's time for water. Quick sip of water. Then we're going to work on our balancing. Okay. Nicely done. Okay, next thing is, we're gonna do a little bit of balancing, okay? And for this, we're gonna need our towel again. Okay, so you're gonna take your towel and you're gonna fold it hot dog style, okay? And then we're gonna fold it halfway down. We're going to fold it again, 
And we're gonna fold it one more time. And we just want it to be about just small enough that one foot can stand on top of it. Okay, we're gonna be balancing on one foot. Okay, so our first, oh, and if you've got your precision trainers, you can use those. Nice to see them. Yeah, nice, okay. So your foot's gonna be on one precision trainer, okay? Your other leg is going to cross over, okay? And you can make a, a four, figure four here, okay? okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to touch the ground and come back up. Or you just go down as low as you can, okay? So we're kind of like a flamingo here. All right, so we're gonna go from here, 10. I'll move to the side so you can see the bend. So we're gonna do 10 figure four squats right here. And all we're gonna do is just go down as far as we can, and then back up. Good, all right, that's 10. This is nine, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, good job. All right, we're gonna switch feet, okay? Other foot on your precision block, towel or trainer. Okay, we're gonna cross our leg over. And when we're ready, we'll go 10. Good, nine, eight, seven. Nice balance, everybody. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Boom. Easy, easy, easy. All right. The next thing we're going to do, move that out of the way. This is a very fun balance exercise. If you were here at the beginning of class, you already had your wrists nice and warmed up, but if you weren't here, we're gonna take our hands, make a prayer, and we're going to move it down and we're just gonna stretch our wrists out a little bit. Okay, keep those palms together and move them down. Okay, now we're gonna take our tops of our hands together, bring our hands up. Good, keep those hands glued to each other. All right, so what we're gonna do is, this is I don't know the name of this, but, our elbows are gonna come right into our belly. Our hands are going to make a, like a spider base, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our elbows right in our belly. We're gonna lean forward, put our hands on the ground, and we're gonna rest all of our weight on our elbows, and our legs can come off the ground. Isn't it called crow? Okay, you guys got that? Thumbs up, we're gonna hold for uh, 10 seconds, okay? And so here we go, elbows into the belly, palms down flat, fingers are spread, always spread fingers, good base. Elbows right under our belly, we can lean forward, and our legs should come off the ground. So let's hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Good job. All right. Pretty easy. You guys having easy with that? Sweet. All right, let's do 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. This is easy balance, but it's going to help you a lot and help strengthen your wrists. Okay, so I'll go from this angle. So elbows tuck to your belly. Hands are flat. Put the hands down first. Move the camera here. Okay, elbows are here. Put your hands down. And you can have your knees nice and wide. It helps you get your weight forward. And then knees up. If you can, I want you to straighten your legs this time. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, 
three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, so we're moving into our advanced section. So if you have had enough, that's probably enough for you. You can go. But if you want to move on to our more advanced section, we're going to try this next. Basically, we're going to be doing uh, one handed bridge to transfer. Okay. And basically, what that's going to look like is the, the full version looks like this. So we're up here, we're on a all fours, kick a leg out, we go upside down. Okay. And then one arm comes down and the other arm goes back up. Pretty advanced. So we're going to start by just doing some bridges. Okay. So everybody go ahead, lie down flat. Okay. Same thing that we've done before. We're going to keep our elbows close to each other, tuck our hands so they're flat underneath our back, and we're going to lift up. And we're just going to hold this for five seconds. Okay? So keep your elbows. You should be able to see your elbows. If your, hand, if your elbows are out wide, it's going to be difficult. So make sure your, hand, your elbows are close to your head. Okay? So let's lift up. Hips into the sky. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it on down. Good. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time for five seconds. Okay, catch your breath. Couple of breaths here. Okay, tuck your hands underneath your shoulders. Elbows to the sky. Here we go, and lift up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna sit, we're gonna sit up. Okay, we're going to put our hand pointing behind us, okay, and what we're going to do here is we're going to practice pivoting on this back wrist, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have our other elbow between our legs, okay, and as we lift up, we're going to rotate our hand towards us as we go all the way to the top. Now, this, this wrist rotation is going to be really important for the transfer. Okay, so my fingers are pointing away, elbow inside the knees. We're gonna lift up, and as we do this, I've got my weight in my palm, and I point the hand back towards me. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna work on this hand rotating, okay, as we turn around. Okay, so points away, and as we go up, that palm, you're going to lift your fingers up off the ground and pivot on the palm. Okay? So let's try this three times on, on one side. So oh, fingers are pointing away. Lift the hips up, pivot the hand, and then come back down. Okay, let's do that two more times. Here we go. Arm up, pivot the back hand, and back down. Okay? Last one. Here we go. Hips up, reach. Pivot the hand and back down. Okay, let's switch to the other side. It's three on this side. Now, this is pretty advanced. If you're not a level three, this is probably kind of difficult, but I like that you're here. Okay, so fingers pointing away. Okay, here we go. We're going to lift up, pivot the hand as much as you can do. Okay, lift back up, pivot, pivot, pivot and back down. Okay, the pivot's gonna happen a lot easier once we transfer. Okay, so, and up. This is third, and back down. Okay, now we're gonna put it all together. Okay? So, starting from one arm, okay? We're gonna lift up. As we reach, we're gonna put that hand down next to the other, and then transfer. Okay, let me see you guys do it. Good, all right, lifting up. Good, try to keep your knees off the ground as much as you can, okay? All right, so at our own little practice here, at our own little pace, we're gonna try this. 
Arm goes up. Reach. Look at the arm. Touch the ground. And transfer to the other side. Cool. All right. Now we'll go the other way. Cool. You know, we're out of time. We're out of time. It's time to do a stretch. You guys did awesome. It was really fun. All right. So you guys, I want you to practice that move on your own. Okay. Practice that transfer um, for the balance. So we're go ahead. We're going to sit down and we're going to stretch out a little bit. Okay. So go ahead, we're gonna put our feet close together in our butterfly and push the knees down towards the ground. And let's rock back and forth. Good. Rock back and forth. I want you to think that you're flying in a spaceship and, or you're in an airplane and you can fly all around the world. You're like Santa Claus. You're just cruising through the, through the clouds, checking out all the houses you know, waving to everybody inside their house. You've got special powers that let you escape the quarantine and travel through the universe in an instant. All right, cool. All right, both legs all the way out. Let's take one leg, bring it in, grab the knee, pull the knee into the chest. Ooh, I like the, nice. I like the precision. Are you guys having fun with the precision trainers? Give me a thumbs up. Nice. Okay, if you have precision trainers, your homework is to spend Two minutes balancing on either one foot or both feet. If you're a level two or a level three, you're gonna balance two, two minutes on each foot, okay? And if you're a level three, you're gonna balance five minutes on both feet, okay? Legs out, pull the other knee in, put the foot over, grab the knee, pull it all the way into the chest. Good job. Hug those precision trainers. I love it. Those should last a long time. Spend a lot of time on those. Good. Okay. So let that foot go all the way. And what we're going to do now is we're going to drop to our knees. We're going to grab our hands behind us. Okay. So interlace your fingers. Now try to keep your palms together. I don't want this. I don't want this. I want this. Wrists and palms are together, okay? And now we're gonna extend those, so your arms are long, and palms are together, okay? And now we're just gonna drop our head right in between, in front of our knees. And once we're here, we're gonna lift our hips and let our arms hang behind us. So we're on the top of our heads with our hands hanging back behind us. <sighs> Good. It's breathing here. Keep pushing the arms back up above the head. Squeeze the palms together. Breathe in. And breathe out. Relax your arms. Good job. Okay. And now the last thing we're going to do, legs out straight, as wide as they can be. I want you to reach over to one foot. Maybe grab your, maybe you have to bend your knee. I want you to grab your foot. Okay, grab underneath your foot, straighten your leg, and bend it again. Straighten your leg, bend it. Last one, we're gonna straighten and hold for three seconds. Straighten, three, two, one. Release, keep the arm leg long, okay? Grab the other leg, you can bend it, grab the foot, and straighten, and bend. Straighten, bend. Straighten, hold, three, two, one, release. Okay, arms all the way up. Go down over the middle, reach in towards the center. We're gonna do 20 counts for reaching. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Bring the feet back in. Let's sit on them for a second. All right. So instead of affirmation at the end of class today, I want everybody 
after this class, I want you to go hug everybody in your house and I want you to tell them how much you love them and how much you like spending time with them right now. Okay? So after I see you disconnect, I want you to go hug your mom, hug your dad, hug your brother, hug your sister, hug your dog, hug your cat, hug your favorite stuffed animal. Go hug and give as much love to anybody as you can for the rest of the day or at least for the next five minutes. All right. Good job, everybody. Good to see you. Bye. Don't forget to tell your parents you love them. <laughs>